So personally, I think that all video game easter eggs are cool, but an easter egg can be made even better if it's actually useful. And that's what today's video is all about. Today we're going to take a look at 28 secret easter egg weapons found in video games. Now unlike my other videos, because we have so many easter eggs to get through, I won't spend too long explaining each one. If you enjoy this video, a like is really appreciated. Every single easter egg that you see in this video I personally recorded myself which takes a lot of time, and in some cases a whole lot of patience. As always, leave your suggestions for easter eggs you think would have been perfect for this video in the comments down below, and without further delay, let's get started. Now, Apex Legends has always had a strange obsession with Loch Ness plushies, and the first of today's secret weapons takes that obsession to a whole new level. During an in-game April Fool's event, a weapon called Old Nessie could be found. So the old Nessie gun fires Nessie plushies, because of course it does. So for those of you that don't know, Maud Howe is a multiplayer medieval hack and slash game that was released in 2019. Now when I say hack and slash, you're probably thinking of sharp swords and deadly daggers, with the humble carrot being one of the last things that comes to mind. Well on the crossroads map, you can find this. So you can ditch your sword for a carrot, which deals a whopping 2-3 to three points of damage per attack. Oh, and if you did want to find this deadly vegetable for yourself, you might want to turn down the foliage density, because if you don't, the carrot is near impossible to spot. So from one tiny secret weapon to a ridiculously big one now. In Old Person Simulator Just Die Already, you can find a gun shop with a giant prop revolver on display. Well, what if I told you that this revolver wasn't a prop? With a bit of good old fashioned platforming, you can reach the gun and use it to cause mayhem old people style. Now, so far, the weapons that we've found have all been somewhat useful. I mean, even the Maud Howe carrot could save your life in a pinch. However, this next easter egg actually serves no purpose whatsoever. At this location on the map in Just Cause 2, you can find the Happy Bubble Blaster, which is as deadly as it sounds. That'll come in handy. Now, I don't want you thinking that the Happy Bubble Blaster is bad just because it's small. After all, it's not the size of the dog in the fight, it's the size of the fight in the dog. For proof of this, look no further than the tiny pistol in Saints Row 4. So this minuscule gun is far more deadly than its name suggests, with recoil so big that it knocks your character off their feet. This pistol is of course a reference to the noisy cricket gun seen in Men in Black which had a similar effect. So if you've ever played a Gears of War game, then you'll know that there is never a shortage of weapons to use. However, there is one weapon in Gears 5 that is unique. During the game's first mission, if you shoot the valves that I do, this will happen. Easter egg, baby! So your reward for your valve shooting skills is a fish on a stick, which is a lot more deadly than it sounds. Now in a video about secret video game weapons, I have to give a mention to Call of Duty World at War. During the Little Resistance mission, if you step in the puddles on the beach, this will happen. Oh, I'm going to go to the floor. 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 I'm going to go to the
対出産が我らが徹底して声を阻止する繰り返す司令部を出せよ内臓敵軍を So we've already seen what happens if you put a fish on a stick in Gears of War 5, so let's see what happens if you put a chicken on a stick in Dying Light. If you use explosives on this ditch, a blueprint for something called the Mysterious Blueprint can be found. Crafting this mysterious blueprint reveals it to be an extraterrestrial chicken on a stick, which is exactly what it sounds like. I mean, considering it's just a cardboard chicken stuck to a stick, this little guy packs quite a punch. Now, the thing about secret video game weapons is that not all of them are as fancy as a ray gun or as laughably bad as a bubble gun. In fact, some of the weapons are special because they aren't special, if that makes sense. In Crisis 2, you can find a group of enemies having a chat. Now, given that you're wearing an all-seeing, all-doing super suit, you can take the guys down any way you like or you could go old school and use a cannon instead. So you can throw tactics and stealth out of the window and just fire a cannon at the enemies which is very cool. Now for this next easter egg, I won't bore you with all the steps necessary to unlock what is admittedly a brilliant secret weapon, but just know that I was so desperate to record this easter egg all the way back in 2016 that I resorted to messaging random battlefield players to aid my cause. Anyway, after completing the various different steps in the excellent battlefield hardline, you'll be given the option to feed Chompy, which will reward you with this deadly weapon. Now, one of the major selling points of the Borderlands series is the sheer amount of weapons that you can find and use in-game. One of these weapons is the Bane, and on the surface of things, it's a normal gun. However, if we turn off the in-game sounds and fire the Bane, you will realise that this gun is anything but normal. Now, the ray gun in World at War was and is an iconic secret weapon in the Call of Duty series, but it's not the only one. On the numbers mission in Black Ops 1, after the interrogation, you'll need to destroy the Nova 6 gas canisters and then grab this tape. After that, continue through the level until you access the secret stash and insert the tape into the tape deck, at which point this will happen. Okay, I'm in! Hudson, ice left! On the edge. Like I said, along with the ray gun, the Call of Duty series is home to two of the most iconic secret weapon easter eggs in video games. Speaking of iconic easter eggs in video games, I'm guessing that this next secret weapon is something that many of you will know already. In Red Faction Armageddon, you can use a unicorn to fire rainbows at enemies. Now, back in the day when cheat codes were common in games, a popular cheat was Big Head Mode, which does exactly what you think it does. But now that cheat codes are far less common, developers have to think of different ways to inflate NPC heads, and that's where Just Cause 3 comes in. At this location on the map, you can find a pistol that does this. 
Another tool of the trade. Now, the Gears of War Boomshot is a very powerful weapon, but do you know what would make it even better? Well, if you answered exploding chickens, then boy do I have some good news for you. During Act 4, if you manage to avoid walking into any of the burnt bodies during the opening section, you'll be granted access to Griffin's stash. Now, if you're playing on insane difficulty, a pirate hat will spawn on the right, which you will need to interact with. Then in Chapter 2, you can find an ammo box on a car. If you walk towards the car, the box and the car will fall off the ledge. Later on, you can find another ammo box at the end of a broken track. And again, walking towards it sees it dropping off the ledge. Finally, at the beginning of chapter three, after clearing out the first group of enemies, kicking this ammo box off the edge will reward you with the cluck shot. Now, when Halo Infinite released, curious players found a giant sandwich hidden pretty out of the way during the game's campaign. There was never any explanation given for the sandwich, and it turns out that it's not the only sandwich that you can find in Halo Infinite. In fact, you can even use one as a weapon. If you hit these markings in the correct order on the forbidden multiplayer map, a secret room will open, revealing a golden sandwich. Now, when Dying Light 2 released, it did so with no guns. Well, almost no guns. You see, after entering the secret developer room after the broadcast mission, you can find a blueprint for the left finger of Glover. And if you craft it, you can finger bang zombies to death. So to complete our trio of completely useless Just Cause guns, let's take a look at the cow gun in Just Cause 4. Now, given the name of this weapon, I'm sure that you can already guess what it does. But if you're unsure, allow me to demonstrate. Okay, so it turns people into cows. But what if we shoot a cow with the cow gun? Well, this happens instead. So Combat Master's main selling point is its ultra-fast movement and general gameplay, which you may think would suit those who prefer to play on keyboard and mouse. Whilst that might be true, if you play the Gun Master mode, there is a chance that the final weapon you need to get a kill with is this.
yep, your character will whip out the DualSense controller and bonk someone on the head with it. It's brilliant. So despite being a lot more wacky when compared to the first Watch Dogs game, Watch Dogs 2 is still grounded in reality. Most of the time. You see, scattered around San Francisco, you can find these strange symbols, and taking a selfie in front of them will cause a spooky message to play. Now, there are four of these symbols to find, and they are different for everybody, so take note of the ones that appear in your game. After finding all four, check the note above Josh's desk and match your symbols with the ones on the paper. If done correctly, you should be left with four numbers, which are actually a time. So my numbers were 1643, which means that my time was 4.43pm. With that information, head to the final location and wait for the clock to strike the time that your symbol said, at which point this will happen. Am I hearing things? No, no, it's impossible. Five, eight, thirteen, stop. Twenty one, stop. No, it wasn't real. It couldn't be. So after that sequence, head back to the HQ and equip all of the shuffler clothing items, and then try to stealthily take down an enemy. Don't run. <laughs> So Marcus will now have the power to levitate enemies and break their bones at will. It's brutal. So to complete our trio of secret Call of Duty weapons, let's head over to Call of Duty Ghosts. On the unearthed multiplayer map, you need to destroy the three supports on the crane, which will cause the container at the end to drop. Heading to the container will reward you with the Venom X, a weapon that shoots puddles of acid and can actually be used in a multiplayer game. The final Gears of War secret weapon for this video can be found in Gears of War 4. If you play the game's prologue on the insane difficulty, a set of doors on the right side of this area will open for a brief moment before closing. However, if you're quick enough, you can beat the doors and grab the Despicable U, which lets you freeze enemies. Get on the turret! They're coming in on the right side! Hold your position! Now, I'm guessing that you don't need me to spell this out for you, but the Despicable U is a reference to the Freeze Ray from Despicable Me. So we've already seen how powerful a finger bang can be in Dying Light 2, but just how powerful is a foam finger bang? Well, in Dead Space 3, we can get an answer to that question. If you beat the game on New Game Plus, you will unlock the Devil Horns, which are just as cool as they sound. <laughs> The final easter egg weapon for this video proves that the profit is worthy. On the safeties off mission in Crisis 3, you can find this. Here. 
Yes, that is Thor's hammer. And yes, it is really fun to use. So that's it. If you enjoyed this video, then a like is really appreciated. If you are a fan of Easter eggs and secrets in games, then perhaps consider subscribing as that's what this channel is all about. Thank you all for watching and I'll speak to you all soon.